Dozens of fires have already broken out this year, and it's not even peak fire season yet. And the afternoon thunderstorms have not only helped fight those fires, but as recently as today, lightning has caused one to break out. Our Julia Vara joins us live along the Rose Canyon Trailhead in University City with more. Julia? Susan, we're seeing weather patterns, including heat, that's really problematic this year. That heat, of course, creating all these fuel sources that you can see uh, around me here along this canyon in University City. And as you mentioned, a lightning strike earlier this afternoon caused a small brush fire near Lake Henshaw. Hail and lightning pushed its way through parts of the county this week. This view captured by Cal Fire Captain Tom Peranio on Thursday. One minute you're in the sunshine and blue skies, and the next you're in downpouring. Windshield wipers couldn't even keep up uh, just past Tamul. And as you enter towards Petrero, we had flooding across the roads, and in some areas, we even had some hail. In one instance, Captain Peranio witnessed a lightning strike in Boulevard cause a small fire that thankfully crews were able to put out quickly. Lightning strikes account for a handful of brush fires every year in the county. This is an example of how consecutive days of severe weather can lead to dangerous conditions. To see it multiple two, three, four days in a row, it's, it's a little unusual. The rain and the recovery definitely helps keep things at bay and keeps things in check for that one day. But the lightning, that's an issue. And uh, two, the constant heat continues to dry out the fuels as we even reach peak season. Dry grasses and weeds like this seen along canyons, trails and freeways are perfect sources of fuel for fires. Once ignited, the flames climb and spread fast. This pops up really, really fast and it dries out really, really quick. So it's, it's one of those where we have to really be mindful if we pull over on the freeway or the roadside, we really want to make sure where the where's our car parked on top of? Is it near the hot exhaust? So far, fire crews have responded to more than 50 fires this year countywide with more than 2,800 acres burned and peak fire season is still weeks away. This year, we're more in alignment of drawing the fuels faster. It has put us more in alignment for more fire activity sooner. So as we move deeper into the season, it wouldn't surprise me if we continue down this pattern and we are prepared. So this is why it's really important to do your part, create that defensible space around your property and do any yard work or gardening work that requires tools earlier in the morning and keep a water source near you as well. So just in case something happens, you can tackle it right away. And firefighters say they want to remind you it does not matter where you are. You could be here in University City, Golden Hill, Tierra Santa or further out in Pine Valley or out Alpine, look around you. There are fuel sources everywhere, so stay vigilant. We're live tonight in University City. I'm Julia Advara. I'll send it back to you.